area of the yellow rectangle is what? Label points B, C, D, E, and F. Join line O, C equals to R minus 4. It means that line C, F equals line C, E which equals to radius, R of the quarter circle. From triangle C, O, E. By Pythagoras' theorem, the square of line C, E equals the sum of the square of line O, C and the square of line O, E. Hence, the square of line C, E equals the sum of the square of R minus 4 and the square of 8 which equals to the square of R. Expand bracket. It follows that 8 times R equals 80. After substitution and simplification of values, divide the equation by 8. R equals to 80 divided by 8 which equals to 10 units. Let x and y be the length and width of the yellow rectangle. By Pythagoras' theorem, the square of line C, f equals to the square of r which equals the sum of the square of x and the square of y. The result equals to 100. Make the square of y the subject of the formula. It follows that the square of y equals 100 minus the square of x. We call it equation 1. Since line C, D equals X and line D, E equals R minus X which equals to 10 minus X. Join line E, F. From triangle F, O, E. Use Pythagoras' theorem. The square of line E, F equals the sum of the square of line O, F and the square of line O, E. Substitute values. It implies that the square of line E, F equals the sum of the square of 4 and the square of 8 which equals to 80. Take the square root of the equation. It signify that line E, F equals to the square root of 80 which equals to 4 times the square root of 5. Also, from the same triangle F, O, E, using Pythagoras' theorem, the square of line E, F equals the sum of the square of line D, E, and the square of line F, D. Substitute values, and we have that. The square in bracket of 4 times the square root of 5 equals the sum of the square of 10 minus X and the square of Y. It follows that. 80 equals 100 minus 20 times x plus the square of x plus 100 minus the square of x. Simplify. Eighty equals two hundred minus twenty times x. Combine like terms. It signify that negative twenty times x equals eighty minus two hundred, which equals to negative one hundred and twenty. Divide the equation by negative twenty. It implies that x equals negative one hundred and twenty divided by negative twenty, which equals to six. Recall that. The square of y equals to 100 minus the square of x. It implies that the square of y equals 64. After simplification of substituted values, take the square root of equation. 
we have that y equals the square root of 64 which equals to 8. Therefore, the area of the inscribed yellow rectangle equals the product of x and y which equals to 48 square units. After substitution and simplification of values.